fácil. You're invited. You will find your invitation to Great Britain at visitbritain.com. Well, this is one of Scotland's oldest and best loved museums, and the idea was to upgrade its Victorian masterpiece to 21st century standards without compromising, without losing its appeal. So as you see, much of this grand hall remains the same. It's wonderful birdcage balconies, but it's a lot less cluttered. There's room for an awful lot more objects, but not necessarily all on the floor here. There's just a few items on display, like this pagoda and uh, one of the Stevenson lighthouses at the end. Now the biggest change that you'll see is that you now come through the ground floor. You no longer come up a steep flight of stairs. You come in on ground level in the street outside and you come into this area where you're going up escalators and lifts and you're pushed right up to the top of the building to work your way down. And that was because research revealed that a staggering 5% of people, only 5% of people actually made it up to the very, very top floors of the museum. So those galleries just weren't seen at all. And in this way, they hope that they can push people through through the new museum to all the new galleries that are behind these walls here and see a lot more of the museum. Now, although it opens to the public on Friday after three years of not being available at all, it's not over, not by a long shot. There are another 11 galleries still to be refurbished. They'll work on those, still be open to the public, but they'll begin working on those. They'll continue to fundraise and the hope is that the completely refurbished museum will be open by the end of the decade.